this is a uh, the second half of this video. As Lee said, these face the outside because you don't want them gouging these tires. I don't know how much these tires cost. I haven't had the body set yet. But I do know one thing. They are not going to be cheap. The back ones are filled um, with fluid. So either fluid's a thousand dollars and I, those tires are 1600. Those I have, um, you know, priced out already. Um, I don't pull the tractor forward or I just jack up the tractor. I got a nice heated garage. I, I get right on the floor, I get dirty. But that S hook is on the inside and the cam lock goes on the outside. And these, and you have to make sure that you don't have a cross. This one was crossed. You'll see, it won't look funny. These are kind of weird because they have a gap here. It's never really affected the performance of them. Like I said, uh, um, keep them on the year. I only go like, uh, five, I only plow five miles an hour, maybe seven at max. But uh, that's it. The other ones are universal. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can put them on whatever way you want, but this thing's a beast to plow. It's 55 horsepower. This is not a hydro model. You can put the beans on it. You can push a foot of snow. I plow a mile and 20 minutes with it to get out at two o'clock in the morning. Um, it's cold. I, I don't have a cab. I don't have a cab because I bring this tractor in the woods. And if I had a cab, I would be replacing the glass constantly. Um, maybe in the future, I'll get a cab tractor and keep it out of the woods. I'm sure when I'm older, I want a cab. But for right now, this is, I just wear my car hearts. Um, if it's a light puffy snow, I put this on this, this rubber, it keeps the, it keeps the snow down. I, I used it one time. Other than that, it's a great tractor. I, I recommend Kubota. I never had a problem with it. It's a phenomenal machine.